Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. We call on the International Committee to pay attention to principles of journalism in Baku, Garman Shiova Nakhijevan. Tribute to Rosita Chakajian, one of the most prestigious magazines in Georgia is dedicated to Armenian literature. Benjamin exhibition entitled The Ancient Capital of Armenia. Armenian Artsakh Youth Union will implement new projects. Gabriel Sarkisian is one of the leaders of the International Tournament Taplis Open 2024. The International Committee for the Protection of Journalists has expressed concern by the Court of Baku regarding the extension of the pre-trial detention period of the six journalists who conducted the anti-corruption investigation of Abzaz Media. It is noted that the domestic situation in Baku has turned into handcuffs among which it is difficult to hear the issues of free speech and press, protection of human rights and freedoms. And the last extraordinary presidential election with its unexpected result became the end point for all kinds of possibilities for freedoms. They also emphasize that Baku brings appropriate humanitarian justifies for its internal and external crimes. The Pan-Armenian Union government Shirvan Nakhichevan also noted that this reaction of the International Committee is of course welcomed but doesn't mean the ban of the spreading hate speech and intolerance does not stem from journalistic ethics. While the media of Azerbaijan media is full of such anti-Armenian thesis and such a degree of racism under the influence of Baku of which the society turned into a terrorist society, ready to destroy everything Armenian. Therefore, Baku media is nothing but one of the bases of the dictatorship. Therefore, the Pan-Armenian Union calls on the international committees for the protection of journalists to pay attention not only to the physical safety of journalists in Baku, but also to the principles of journalism. On June 17, the performance of Armenian dances and choirs from Argentina and Uruguay will take place in Montevideo. The Honorary Consul of the Republic of Western Armenia in the Eastern Republic of Uruguay, Pablo Tailanyan, published a video on the rehearsal which ended with the dance to the anthem of Western Armenia. It should also be noted that Pablo Tailania will present to Armenian dances and choirs in South America the paintings of Rosita Chakejan, an outstanding teacher of Armenian dance art. The 2024 regular issue of Farili, one of the most prestigious social literary magazines of Georgia, is entirely dedicated to Armenian literature, from classic writers to modern ones. The issue includes the works of classical and modern Armenian writers, including Narikatsi, Yeri Shecharen, Pavel Sevak, Nahapet Kuchak, Daniel Varujan, Siamanto, Grikos Zohra, Pirand Matevosan, articles and interviewers related to Armenian Georgian social literary ties. The issue was published with the support of the Embassy of Eastern Armenia in Georgia and the Nori Consul of Eastern Armenia in Georgia, Georgi Mausaradze. The magazine is Literary Social Association of Writers, which was first published in the format of a literary weekly, then over the years it turned into a literary magazine. Early has been published in Georgia since 1994, mainly serving the popularization of Georgian literature. Geology Museum of Shirak took place in the gallery of Aslamazian sisters in Gimri. The exhibition presents such unique pieces as the boundary stone of King Artashes, many ornaments and figurines. The ancient site of Benjamin was discovered in 1989. Archaeological excavations were started by the Armenian French expeditions and continue with certain intervals until today. The archaeological excavation, which lasted for about 10 years, gave exceptional results about the description of the Archimenean and ancient periods of Armenia and the entire region. The Armenian place of Benjamin and the ancient pillar all are among the unique examples of pagan Armenia. It is noteworthy that the Archimenean column all certainly speaks of Benjamin's power role in northeastern Armenia. It had the role of an administrative center in the powerful Achaemenid Empire. Before this exhibition, Benjamin's last complete exhibition took place in France in 2007 and 2008. Several samples from Benjamin were in the History Museum of Armenia. The exhibition will run for several weeks. Many young people from Eastern Armenia and Artsakh unanimously voted for the formation of the Armenian Artsakh Youth Union. The idea was to maintain the spiritual connection between Eastern Armenia and Artsakh to pursue a dream. The activities of the union will be aimed at the formation of a healthy educational, scientific, cultural environment and will pursue bold projects. The platform is open to young people with their new programs and offers. 
Gabriel Saxian, a member of the men's chess team of Eastern Armenia, successfully started the Teplis Open 2024 international tournament. After two rounds, he and 40 other chess players have two points each. At the start, Gabriel Saxian surprised athletes from Poland and in the second round, athletes from Turkey. About 300 chess players participated in the international tournament. The highest rated participant of the tournament is a Grandmaster Gabriel Saxian, a member of the Eastern Armenia men's chess team. This was all for today. Goodbye.